Hello everybody, this is Ninja Michael One the Towson, and today we're playing more Stanley Pepperpot. Okay. Okay. Fun my Wait. Wait. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Nah. Let's do the... How do... Okay. There you go. There you go. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. But this is real he life. then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more... Screw it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah. Then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. The game actually, it can't move. All I can move is literally my mouse. I can't actually move. 
So GS where you get from. What's a man named Stanley? Oh speedrun, yes. When Stanley came to a set of two Red open doors, he had, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Confusion, Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just uh, to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yeah, I want to see what's down here. Just pop. I'll have to part of the game because, well, it wouldn't be there. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go on. Uh, from here, it's um. Oh no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Where am I? Let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Are you sure about that? Because I just need to do some marks. No! 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 This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. 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 We just we just have to get back to um. Oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Three, two, one. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come Stanley, let's find the story. I'll say it, this is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just, do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot, why not? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Aha! 
I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Wait, what? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. All right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? See? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> music go back and look at that fern Stanley this fern will be very important later in the story make sure wait but we're back at the office no 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 line you do know we're looking for the Stanley parable right the story is oh no 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 not again line how could you have done this to us and after we trusted you after everything we've been through you no oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it restart You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know, 
How about this direction? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Okay, huh? Turn. What? What the? Um. Oh no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I'd... I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's Those going on. Steps. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer to stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Right. No. If you won't do it, I'll do it. Wait, that's like 17 minutes long, Sean. I've been playing that for like 17 minutes. That means we're at 18. This is a long video. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memory. Oh, that's how I do it. <laughs> she wins. Door three zero five. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers.
There is one. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yeah. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What do you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Let's look at it. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me no, boot wait. it up. No. No, I'm not baby bird. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You have the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. 
It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take Where notice. You, but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four I'm hours. Not doing a four so why hour don't you give it video. four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> I have the You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? No, I the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game, just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Mink, we left. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? I actually broke the game. I actually broke the game! Um, I think I can't fix it. What have I done? Yeah, I broke the game. Yeah, I broke it. Um... This is a nice view, right guys? Oh, it looks like that's the end of the video here. See you on the next video.